how to get the IT department to do their actual job. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. The IT crowd are a notoriously belligerent lot, sitting down in their dank little hovel reading sci-fi novels and responding to every query with a snarky air of stuck-up pomposity. Because they understand computers and you don't, that means they're better than you. Does your little non-computer understanding brain comprehend? Without them, the company would fall to pieces, and that gives them free reign to be as vitriolic and apathetic as they like. So if you've got a problem and no one else can help, maybe you can surreptitiously con the IT department into doing what it is they're actually paid to do. Step 1. Be a girl. You're exponentially more likely to see results if you have the good fortune to have been born with lady bumps above your tummy. Doubly so if you're even remotely attractive. The IT department don't naturally find themselves in close proximity to breasts, so they have to seize whatever chance they can get. Step 2. Nerd up. If you're accidentally a lady with a face like a broomac, or worse still, a rotten stinking man, you're going to have to engage the IT clan on their own level. Learn the basics of sci-fi, video games and internet memes and drop them casually into conversation whenever possible. This way, they won't think you're a complete douche, which is American and internet speak for Wally. Step 3. Deal with them like a grown-up. If your computer's knackered, don't start screaming down the phone, blaming them and insisting they deal with it immediately like you're the only person on the planet. They're probably very busy using company bandwidth to torrent the latest episode of Battlestar Galactica. So when they do turn up, be grateful and apologetic if it turns out that the reason it's broken in the first place is because your elbow was resting against the space bar. Step 4. Befriend them. Firstly, they're more likely to turn up in the first place if you promise to play Team Fortress 2 with them on a Saturday night, while all the pretty people are in nightclubs rubbing up and down against each other. Secondly, if you get them drunk enough, you stand a chance of being there when they do something they don't want anyone else to know about, which is your ticket for grade A IT support for the rest of your life. Step 5. Convince them you can do it yourself. If you're even remotely competent with a computer, and it's not that hard, it's only buttons and electricity for crying out loud, you might be able to convince the IT department to give you enough admin privileges to sort things out all by yourself. To be honest, Google holds the answer to 99% of your IT queries anyway, which is the sort of closely guarded secret the IT boys want to keep quiet, because the quasi-irony of them being replaced by machines is unbearable. Step 6. Own the company. There's only one person the IT boys will bend over for, and that's the big boss. They'll smile up to him like he's the very embodiment of Alex Vance smothered in honey. Until then, you're going to have to keep banging your head against the desk and crying, while the IT guys sit about with an air of pompous superiority. Done.